Hello and welcome to Optometrials. Friends, today we are going to discuss something very important. Today we are going to learn this instrument which is known as Shear Stonometer. This Shear Stonometer is used to perform tonometry to measure the intraocular pressure. This is low cost, highly useful and can be carried anywhere. So if you see this instrument which is very handy and portable. So before I go and show you how it is done on the patients, I would like you to understand this instrument. This instrument is based on the principle of indentation. So what actually it does, it has a scale. This is the needle. This is the plunger which usually rests on the cornea and the amount of pressure exerted on the cornea uh, is reflected on the needle. Now it comes with the inbuilt weight of 5.5 gram. This is the lever and my I have holded or kept my finger on the holder. So overall this is how this uh, shear stonometer looks like. Uh, I would also like you to understand how this principle works and how this instrument works. Now this is the lever when it is placed on any surface let's take an example on the cornea the, the through the cornea the eye will exert some pressure now it has a weight of 5 5.5 this 5.5 weight will be exerted on the corneal surface and the through the cornea the or the intraocular pressure will will act on the opposite direction and because of that pressure there will be a deflection on the needle which you can see so if I place this on this surface, now you can see the deflection will be towards the zero. So why that is happening? Because this surface is hard and this 5.5 is not able to indent that. Similarly, if you take the surface which has a low pressure, so this 5.5 weight will be able to indent to some extent and you can see that intraocular pressure or the pressure from the opposite direction is seen at the 12. Very low pressure and zero indicates or value this lesser value indicates the high pressure. Now you can see on the chart lesser the value on this scale indicates the higher intraocular pressure and more value on the scale indicates less intraocular pressure. Before applying on the patient, you would have to check on this test block. This test block you have to place and you can see how it should be. So when you place that, the needle should be at zero. When it is on zero means the instrument is calibrated. What you have to ensure that when you are placing it, this has to be hanging in the center. It should not be you uh, applying pressure at this and the cornea. So just assume that this is the cornea before applying on the patient you will have to practice multiple times just place it and it should be freely in the center. Now the value on the needle should be zero. Zero indicates that instrument is calibrated. Another thing about this instrument is for example if the value when you are measuring on the eye on the cornea it comes out to be two or less than two it indicates the value is slightly or it's a higher intraocular pressure. For that, we require this chart, which is a Friedenwald Kronfeld Trotter chart. So the anything which comes on this needle, you would have to convert that. For example, you got five with 5.5 gram. So it shows that with 5.5 gram, the value is 17.3. So intraocular pressure at that point is 17.3. So whenever the value is 2 or less than 2 or 0, you might have to increase the other weight. So it comes with 7.7 .7 weight also and 10 also. So if suppose 0 is the value what you got. So you put again 7.5 .5 and see what value you have got. So again if it's 0, you might have to increase to 10 and based on that you will have to note the intraocular pressure for 5.5 this is the reading for 7.5 this is the value 
and for 10 gram these are the value so this is how this instrument works so i hope you understood the instrumentation part of this shear stonometry and i will show you how it can be done on the subject so i have a volunteer i will train you how you will have to apply that so before that if you are new to this channel please subscribe that so friends this is our shear stonometer and before applying on the patient eye you need to ensure that the instrument is perfectly sterile so now i have made it sterile and and then second important thing what you have to do is you have to put a drop of anesthetic eye drop in the patient eye and please wait for at least 30 seconds to one minute and then you place this instrument on the patient eye so i would like you to see how it is done you have to be very gentle and you have to be very careful when you are performing this task so friends you have to hold with the holder and you have to gently place this on the patient cornea give a target to the patient so that the eye is straight so what i am doing i am going to perform in the left eye and with the right eye i have asked him to look at the thumb keep looking at the straight and from the stand behind hold the upper lid as well as the lower lid and you place this instrument very gently on the patient eye on the cornea look straight yes keep looking down nothing will happen it's simple process and slowly you see that now the reading is close to six or seven repeat it multiple times so second value is again seven and the third values i would like to see look straight yes keep looking straight yes on your thumb and this value is also uh, i would say eight so seven seven eight so they i have got three value so what we have to do next you will have to look at the chart so three value what we got seven with 5.5 weight it is coming out to be 12.2 and the another value for it it was 10.2 so you will have to take the average of the three readings you can do even five readings and the average of the two reading will give you the iop at that point of time so this is how intraocular pressure is measured so now when i mentioned that iop at that point means iop usually a conditions which diurnally vary so right now whatever the iop is may not be at other point so you will have to mention that uh, time when you have assessed the intraocular pressure so friends this was in iop with the help of a shear stonometer i hope you learned that shear stonometry so if you think that can be useful to anybody else also please subscribe and share it ahead and if you want to learn any other skills in optometry or eye care please drop your comment in this section or follow me on instagram there you can also message i would like or i would try to create a reel or the video for you thank you keep following optometry reels